guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. How are my guardians? And we do have a newer tier list. This is uh, right before our update arriving this coming Thursday. So this is our April tier list. The last tier list that I showcased in this channel is, uh, I think, February tier list. So I've been away for a while. I'm actually back. I'm actually covering. I'm going to be covering this game plus other games on a regular basis from here on out so without further ado let's discuss our april global tier list okay so we have here haru for tier 3 nothing more to say uh haru uh, at tier 3 plus others at uh, tier 2 are mostly the uh what do you call this the characters or operatives that aren't usually used in the game most of them are underpowered i'm talking in general because i don't want to discuss each and every one of them most of them are underpowered so power creep they're they're, they're they're below that level um it would be good if we did have game modes that we could use four stars because we have a lot let's say for example if you're able to build a team uh you you are required to use two four stars and one five star then probably their value would go up because now we would be forced to build them because they're required in certain content for the game. That's the only time that I think that they would increase in value. But tier two and tier three, sadly, um, most of majority of the whales or and also the mid-tier players um, don't use them unless they're really a favorite of that certain player. Uh, eventually, if you have better uh, operatives or better characters, then you would really develop those rather than these at Tier 2 and Tier 3. So, no discussions here much. Um, we'll proceed to Tier 1. Tier 1, however, these are your select few that most players have. Most players are using because they're good they fill a specific role especially most of your support units are here namely mauxer namely yao um yao one of our best healers chen sheng healer support as well we have series here shield support and we have a couple of dps here who actually belong to tier one uh, which can serve some of the stages, especially if you're new, especially if you don't have anything to in that role, especially for DPS. We have Akasha, the four-star version. We have uh, Frisha Hush. Frisha Hush, by the way, um, if you can see, there's an asterisk in her name. Uh, provided She's a tier one provided that she is... Um, you've invested a lot in her, uh, especially in terms of manifestation. Uh, in terms of gear in terms of everything it's she's really high investment to be here at tier one also with marion swift um high investment as well for tier one so again these at tier one are going to be your fillers some of them would be your main depending on how far are you in the game if you're a beginner definitely you'll still be using them but they are very good player they're very good operatives or characters uh, you can actually still use them even up to the mid game and late game okay but not all uh, most of, uh, most of the use will probably come from the supports because most of your supports will be found in tier one okay so next up we have your tier 0 0.5 okay so this tier includes life wild hunt again provided that life wild hunt is uh, has full investments for me i've already finished her manifestations and i believe she is at that her potential her damage potential definitely has a, a big increase especially if you have a tier 5 weapon right now i don't have a tier 5 uh, no, not tier 5 tier 2 you only get two copies of the weapon for a full you know full stat so i only have one copy i still need one other copy too I think fully maximize her but right now even if i have a i only have a one one copy of her um unique weapon definitely she is still hitting a lot okay so moxir shadow ka definitely one of your best uh, amplifies damage especially for shotgun and for sniper um 
definitely gonna deal a lot in terms of bosses. So again, she's situational at best, uh, more or less, depending on who you are going to be confronting. But definitely, she's gonna be dealing or assisting your damage dealer more damage if you bring her as support. Next is Tess the Magician. So Tess is she manipulates cooldown uh especially for your ultimate so again she's all situational but given in the right situation she is going to be uh she she is also a headache so again uh she's there because of her you know what she can do but not every stage you'll need her definitely Okay, also for each shell, the cub. Okay, so wanna, so wanna um, talk more about each shell. Um, some um, I've seen, they put her at tier one or a three uh, three levels, uh, no, on the third level from, from the first level. Um, me, on my opinion, okay, again, guys, this is just my opinion. Uh, you may have other opinions of each shell or this tier list. So, Please, um, I'd love to hear from your comments. So if this is my opinion, just respect my opinion, please. If you have your own opinion, please do put them down. Let's talk about it there. So again, going back to Ichel, the Cub, um, best healer so far, even better than um, these two, Yao and Chen Xing. Um, alone as support, she has a lot, she, actually she has a lot of heals. The one that's that that you are going to use her is going to be her support skill because the support skill, the passive alone is a gem because uh, if your energy is full for the passive, it's going to just you know to just uh, keep on healing you even if you're at full HP. Um, if you need a lot of healing, it, it's a trickle heal. It's a certain percentage from I think from her base attack attack percentage. So, um, again, if you need a bunch of heals, then you could use her support skill to heal uh, a lot. Then wait for the cooldown to finish. Then there's a trickle. Once the cooldown is done, the trickle again activates. So, for me, her heals are very important, especially if you know how to dodge. Um, again, the heal, the, the passive heal is one of the best heals so far that they've added, especially in terms of upgrading her uh, after she was released. So I would have put her at tier one without that, but now that she has that passive, definitely she is at tier zero five. I'm not sure if the game, if right now you need a lot of healing in this game, but definitely in the future, we will be needing her. Healers are really, really um, uh, a must in your team comp especially if there are harder game modes that you need to trickle in your heals. So I'll leave her there at tier 0 0.5. What do you think, guys? Uh, am I right in putting her there? Should I put her down at tier 1? But for me, she is actually better than Yao. So, and I like her DPS. She's a sub DPS for me. She carries a shotgun. So definitely she is going to be tier 0, 0 0.5 for me. And not only that, her 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 although her ultimate is hard to understand at this point, but uh, it deals again damage and heals. So again, I can't complain with that. Um, best healer so far, uh, hands down. And the last is going to be tier zero. So we have the best of the best. So again, Chen Sheng, um, hands down multiple you know multiple weakness expert you have your best sniper in the bunch which is the yeah, winter solstice we have your best shotgun operative which is fanny coronet so again nothing to explain there um akasha kaguya she is actually the, your best support hands down hands down now that i got her signature weapon it actually validates that i put her here before because I'm actually having fun using her even not not only as support but as a main DPS sometimes if if you know if I wanted to use a pistol. But again, her support is really all around for bosses, for mobs. Uh, she is youth 
her utility is hands down the best among supports. So that's it, period. Okay, the last two operatives are... I think w these two are your best DPS. For me, the all-around DPS that we have. When I, when I say all-around, um, single target, multiple targets, both of them are the best. Uh, and like Yao, Yao is usually single target. So again, Haru Abscondytus, um last year, let's say, put her at 0 .0, 0 0.5. Now that... I actually, I'm actually convinced that she should be a tier 0. A lot have been telling me that she should be a tier 0. And right now, I'm nearing full manifestation for her. I, I actually appreciate that you guys were telling me that. And I think she is very all around um, during mobs. Even her pistol right now, I have two copies of her pistol already. Um, it hits like a truck. So, um, again, and with the extra bullet that I have for the build, I have 13 bullets with her pistol. Basically, she hits like a truck, I tell you. Especially with the pistol. Um, if you don't have uh, her, her unique pistol fully upgraded, uh, with two copies with one it's okay but if you have the second one definitely the damage for the pistol is going to be ouch so that will leave it at that and the last is going to be katya blue vault who doesn't like unlimited ammo by the way who doesn't love who doesn't like that um everybody loves katya um the way she looks the way she shoots uh, how she is used her utility in this game um, she's really a fan favorite for me. Probably um, a carry for Snowbreak in you know now in the near future. So again, um, with the damage, with the mechanic, with the with the uh, AOE damage for the grenade arrow, I think it's one of the best kits that we have in terms of DPS. So very versatile. Sometimes I use Haru and Katya both in one team. So who can who can complain with that guy? So. Again, um, please be gentle with your comments if you don't um, like how I arrange some of these ladies here. Please do comment gently in the comment section below. I appreciate your comments, guys, and would like to know your thoughts. And um, by the way, if you actually don't want to go back to this video, I will be putting a link to the description. And hopefully I could update this every after every after a new update so definitely by may may at least first week of may when we have um tried out the what do you call this the two new operatives coming out uh we can have more to talk about for the next tier list but for now for the april tier list 2024 these are your girls and again guys i'm glad to be back happy to be back so see you soon take care Stay safe, this is the Warden, and I'm out of here.